Hello, I'm Ramon, and welcome back to All Scale RC. Here we have the RZ Hobby 110 WRC9 933 The Car RC Car RTR. That's actually the name. I had to write it down because it's a mile long. I think it's made by FSR for RZ Hobby. That's R as in Roger, Z as in Zebra, Hobby. This is a Porsche 933 rally car. So, it's not very really common that you actually see um, Porsche rally cars come out into the scene. I guess it's because of licensing or whatever. Tamaya made a really good one which was based on the 959. But that thing you can't even touch. It's really expensive. So pretty much if you want a Porsche rally car you have to build it. So when I saw this Porsche rally car get released I hurried up and ordered it and it finally got here and it's total crap. I was very disappointed with its condition upon its arrival. So um, let's take a look at what we got. So basically it comes in a brown box with a little uh, picture of the actual real car, not of the actual RC car. And this was one of the pictures that got me in the advertisement. I hate when they sneak in pictures of the real car to try to make it look like it's the RC car. So they shoot it far enough so it's kind of Unless you look closely, you can't tell. When you look closely at this picture, you can tell there's no body, no body clips or anything like that. But here's the car. Okay, I brought the camera in closer so you guys can share in the experience. Um, this, here's the lovely box it comes in. You know, um, not a whole lot of effort wasted there, but it's only a box. Who cares? Contents are what's important. So let's take this lid off. And you get your, you get your, some stickers here, some window stickers, tools and a charger. But here's how it was packaged. It just had this, this, and it was supposed to be zip tied. And the zip ties were, the zip ties were broken. They ripped right out the cardboard, as you can see there. So um, that's not holding anything. So here's the car. Basically the body posts were just long body posts that were snipped off. They have, you know, just a horrible finish. I mean, we don't like seeing body posts as it is, let alone when they're clipped off like that. I could have bought, I could have bought a Tamaya kit and did this. So um, that's, that's kind of lazy. I like that it does have Fuchs wheels on there, or Fuchs wheels, can't remember the actual name of them, but these uh, tail lights, look, that was just laying in the box, so they're not even glued in, or well, one might be, one wasn't, so I, I popped it back in, the, the fog lamps in the front, um, I might change those out to something smaller. I mean, they're too bulbous. They just don't look right. And I'm definitely going to have to change out those body posts. But now let's go underneath. Let's take a look at... Um, my biggest gripe was... Here's your headlamps. Hopefully you can see this. But your headlamps appear to have just been hot glued in <laughs> with a dab of glue or something. And 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 that was it. I mean it's like look, both headlamps are unglued. That just is horrible, horrible quality. So I'm probably going to take some goo gone or something like that to hold them in properly. But that just, you know, when you buy a car, when you buy a car and it's falling apart <laughs> before you even play with it, kind of sucks. Now, as far as the chassis, the chassis itself looks great. It's just what they did with the body was total um, horseshit. They could have did a lot better job, especially for what they're charging for this thing. I bought it from an online hobby shop called Vagex RC. That's the name. I'll, I'll put it in the I'll put it in the description. 
but uh, it's called Vatch XRC. Horrible name for a hobby shop. That's where I got it from, but now you can find it on AliExpress. And on AliExpress is about $308 or so, which for $308, I think it's way overpriced in the quality it comes in. And also being brushed. I know it was brushed, so that wasn't a big deal. And actually, rally cars in brush form do quite well, but they actually need to do something about the, the quality control. The chassis itself is a, a metal chassis. I think I've seen this chassis before on other cars. I have to go back and look. And it has it does have oil shocks, metal shock towers. The tires are glued on. So the chassis itself, I'm fine with. It's just the condition of the body. Okay, so the car is a gloss black. It does have a plastic film on it, but in order to get the plastic film off, I'm gonna have to pop off the bumpers and the spoilers and everything else. Cause they did not appear to cut around it. And pulling on that, I'm either gonna leave a lot of plastic behind, or I'm gonna end up ripping off my spoiler with the way this thing was built. So there you guys have it. If you don't mind having to fix an overpriced RC car, as soon as it comes out the box, it's probably for you. If not, I'd pass. Thanks again for watching. Make sure you subscribe, and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.